Okay, I want to discuss with you guys a little bit about finding the right person. Um, in the dating world, it can be very difficult. You know, it's kind of like a spokes on the wheel. <laughs> you know, you're trying to find as many spokes that you can have in order to find that special someone that you possibly might spend your life with. It can be very difficult if you are a believer in Christ to find someone that you are physically attracted to, spiritually and mentally um, attracted to as well. And so one of the things that I have found is that we all have baggage. We all have trauma, hurts and pains from our past that, you know, honestly, we have to take time to heal through. One of the biggest things when you're looking or preparing yourself to be in a relationship is to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything else will be added unto you. The Bible makes it very clear that if you seek God first, that he's going to add to you everything that you desire that's according to his will. He desires that you have a mate that's loving, that you come into one accord and unity with someone that literally can be a reflection of who he is. And so one of the things that I found on my journey is self-healing. You have to heal first. You have to make sure that you're in alignment with God, what he desires for you. He should be your first husband or he should be your first you know, person supplier if you're a man. He should be the one that you look to first and that he will bring wholeness and healing to you before you align with anyone else. If you are whole, then you are able to find someone else that's whole. If you are together, and doesn't mean that you're perfect, but you are more in a position that when God does lead someone your way that fits you the way that you desire, that you're able to be what God has you to be in that relationship. See, we all are constantly going through a healing process. The reality of it is, are you a willing vessel? Are you a willing vessel to be used by God to help assist in that healing process? It doesn't mean you have to be a floor mat. It doesn't mean that you have to be someone's crap bucket. But it does mean that you have to make yourself open, honest, and vulnerable, and transparent. Because if you're not, you're pretending. You're being a poser. And God can't work with that. He needs you to be open. Love does hurt. Not because love causes the pain. But when you open up yourself to be vulnerable and transparent, you might experience someone bleeding on you. Are you able to wrap the wounds of someone else? Not because you're strong enough, but that your God is strong enough and he's using you.